Hello everyone and welcome back. Today guys I have 20 tips for you that will help you have an easier time in Insurgency Sandstorm. Enjoy! In Insurgency Sandstorm there are two types of reload. One is the slower reload, the one that you use normally by pressing the reload button. This reload will keep the magazine with all the remaining bullets. But there is another type of reload which is the fast reload by tapping the reload button fast two times you will drop your magazine with the, all the remaining bullets. This reload is much much faster and the one that I recommend using most of the time because uh, in Insurgency you don't have, uh, you, you don't usually use all the magazines that you have. Another crucial thing that you want to learn in Insurgency Sandstorm is to maximize the effectiveness of everything you do, including aiming. Usually people go always full automatic, but what you will notice is that they will always have beta, bad aim because of that and they will always tunnel vision on one target and possibly overshoot him. What you want to do is start the game by using always single fire mode. You will see how easier the game becomes and how much you will improve because you will have to look at a target then aim at him all the time and then shoot while while we go on full automatic we always just panic and spray till our magazine is empty and this is a simple tip that was also very useful in insurgency when you are using a sniper rifle after shooting if you hold your left mouse button you will be able to see what's going on after the shot you will basically stay looking at the scope instead of starting the reload if you're getting shot and you don't have any cover next to you or you can't shoot back, a great way to survive, to help yourself survive, is to go immediately prone. This will sometimes trick the enemy on thinking that you're going down and you're dead and also will reduce your hitbox and, makes you, and make you more difficult to shoot. In Insurgency Sandstorm you can open and close some doors, but you can also kick the doors and this is extremely useful if you are an attacker and also depending on the side from which you're kicking the door you can also break it and I recommend doing that and as attacker because defenders will have a much easier time using the doors, closing them because they will know when you are approaching Learning how to throw effectively grenades is very important because even one second that you expose yourself to throw a grenade can be for you a death sentence because someone might be looking at the spot. So what you want to do is always throw your grenades from a safe spot while looking in the direction that you want to throw the grenade. By doing so you will get a lot of kills with explosives and you can also throw smokes safely. Armor in Insurgency Sandstorm not only it defends you from bullets but also reduce the damage you get from explosive so in such situation it can be very useful so if you're the kind of player that play very defensively or you are in a spot in which you know there will be a lot of explosions I recommend picking heavy armor and uh, sometimes it can be the difference between life and death the pickup that you can sometimes use in Insurgency Sandstorm can be extremely useful. Not only you can provide the suppression with the mounted machine guns and even get some kills, but you can also lure the attention of the enemies to you so your other teammates can advance safely. And if you're a good driver, you can also survive for a long time or catch the enemy off guard. When approaching a situation or entering a building in which you think there are enemies, you want to approach the situation thinking where the enemy might be. And sometimes the enemy is not right in front of you, but he's behind the door, he's in the corner hiding, he's laying in a weird spot. So remember to cut corners and think of what the best spots for the enemies might be. When moving around the map with your teammates, you always, always, always want to keep some distance between you and your teammates. Because if you all run in the same spot, one enemy is enough to kill all of you. Even if your aim is not the best, even if your reactions are not the best, remember that if you take the enemy by surprise, you will be winning that firefight, that engagement. So always try to 
look for an alternative way to approach that objective, an alternative way to enter that building. And by doing so many times, you will get a lot of kills and take that objective. I said it many times in the normal insurgency and I will say it many times in insurgency sandstorm. Always bring at least one smoke grenade with you. Sometimes it will be the difference between you spawning and dying 20 times in a row and you spawning, reaching their objective and having a fun time in insurgency. And especially in the most played mode, which is push. Without smokes, you're just gonna have an awful experience. In this clip that you can see right now, we were getting rushed by the enemy team. And uh, me and the observer called fire support to help us defend the objective. And that was enough to save us and win us the game. So if you play commander or observer, you need to work together in order to be able to call fire support. I will make a guide in the future on how to do it in detail, but for now, just stick together and communicate. A good player on the demolition class in Insurgency Sandstorm can be extremely useful because with the RPG you can bring down choppers, with your rocket launchers you can shoot a windows from which sniper or machine gun shoot at you and you don't have enough space to snipe or shoot them back. You can bring down vehicles. So a good player on the demolition class needs to learn the spots in the map and by doing so you will be extremely useful to the team and make a huge difference. High caliber weapons can shoot through some walls. By doing so you have a chance to kill the enemies, but even if you don't do that you can still bring a suppression effect to the enemy on the other side. When your friendly chopper is in the air you will see a lot of RPG flying trying to eat the chopper. What you want to do is to follow the trail of those RPG and find the enemies. Sometimes you can also find machine gunner or other people shooting at the chopper. Take, a, take advantage of this opportunity to kill them. You can also take advantage of uh, the noise the chopper is making to flank the enemy team. They won't hear your footsteps and you will be able to take them by surprise. If you're planning on being very aggressive and moving around the map a lot, I recommend being as light as possible, because not only you can move faster and avoid bullets and reach cover faster, but after running, when you start shooting downside, your sight will be very difficult to control if you're too heavy, because you will get tired very quickly. It's important once in a while to look at your map, Look at your map and see what your teammates are doing, where they are defending, where they are attacking, so you have a clear picture on what to expect. If you see a route which is unprotected, which nobody is looking at, you can cover that route and look out for enemies. If you struggle a lot in insurgency, you see you die too much, that you're not killing anyone, try to rethink your position. Try to hide in corners more, try to not expose yourself as much and you will see a huge difference. Play a game of hide and seek instead of just rushing around expecting kills. So guys, thank you very much. This was the last tip for today. I hope this video was helpful and I'm planning to do a more advanced type of tip video in the future. So stay tuned for that.